Uh, I just wanted to pop in and, you know, just give a little update and just say I'm not autistic. I'm just saying it. So my whole plan, I wanted to get to 1 million followers because I knew I could do it. I just, I knew I could do it. 1 million and then I would make the big reveal like, hey guys, uh, yeah, it was all an act. I just want to say I, I don't regret anything I do in life. The internet is a despicable place, okay? We get all these sorts of characters showing up with the worst personalities you can think of. I mean, honestly, who goes to bed at night and thinks to themselves, you know what I'm going to do tomorrow? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wake up and fake autism on TikTok for donations. But don't worry, guys. I'm only going to do it till 1 million followers, right? When I hit 1 million followers on TikTok, then I'll stop. Then, then I'll delete my account and uh, run away with my my stolen money. This story is genuinely one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever come across. This guy's audience was absolutely amazing, okay? It was this group of people who really saw this guy like struggling on TikTok and they really wanted to help him, okay? They, they begged him to like set up a PayPal, set up a Venmo, set up a GoFundMe. We just want to help you, right? I mean, I shouldn't say that they loved him. They loved his character, right? The, the wholesome guy that he pretended to be. But little did they know they were getting played by a sorry excuse for a person. So the story starts off by this guy posting a bunch of super wholesome TikToks, right? These are the really like tug on your heartstrings kind of TikToks. Basically, he would post TikToks of like his bike getting stolen, him working for 14 hours straight, you know, trying to provide for his mom and his, and his family because he's the he's the sole bread owner, right? He's this guy who works at Five Guys. So this is the information the audience had about him, right? He was this 18 year old guy and he lived with his mom. He, he, he made up all the income for the family. He never mentioned his dad once. So he kind of kind of gave the impression that his dad left or something like that You know more feel sorry for me type of stuff now all the clips that you're about to watch He would have this sort of mannerism right the sort of slow very very slow type of mannerism that is generally Associated with an autistic person. I'm gonna play video games with my friends Basically his attempt at portraying an autistic person and it worked it definitely worked it tricked his entire 400,000 people audience who all donated to him so today we'll be going through his entire sob story up till the point where he actually deleted his account because he felt some guilt and he came out with a bunch of videos saying I can't do this anymore I've been lying to all of you guys I'm still gonna dip with the money though hey guys so I just got off of work I five guys got a building somewhere and I work from 9 to 10 today so 13 hours and I was getting ready to go home and I came to the tree that I locked my bike on and I found this. So my bike was stolen. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'll probably have to buy another bike. But yeah, that's it. My coworker is going to give me a ride, which is really nice of them. And my mom could give me a ride to work tomorrow. So I'm not too angry about it. But I'll have to buy another bike, which is kind of bad. But... Okay, so already you can see this guy is a master of manipulation, okay? He knows he knows exactly how to tug on your heartstrings. First, act like you're a baby, right? You're completely helpless. You're like this wholesome guy just navigating the adult world, right? Then obviously, conveniently show that, oh, my, my bike was stolen, right? I'm a minimum wage worker, all right? This means a lot to me. How, how much did I have to save up to purchase this bike? And wow, it was just stolen from me. You know, all that hard work and effort, those 13 hours of work just gone because somebody stole my bike, right? And this is how he lures you in, right? This is how he catches you, like a like in his master ball over here, in, into his trap, where you start feeling really bad for him. And at, and at one point, you start begging him, please, I want to donate money to you. That's how much this guy tricked his audience. He puts on this absolute, like, wholesome persona, like, you know, I'm smiling despite the fact that my bike just got stolen. You know, it'll be okay. My mom will drive me, you know. It is absolutely disgusting watching this back after knowing what he's actually done. Well, I made five dollars today putting it in the jar i just got back home from work i made 12 dollars in tips putting it in the jar again i'm gonna take a shower then i'm gonna play some video games guys i made five dollars in tips today i made 12 dollars in tips today slowly but surely every single tiktok he's pulling you in a little bit closer right you're getting more and more attached to this absolute wholesome individual this guy had a cult of people who just loved him and he does it so like in a subtle manner it's masterful he's hinting to the fact that hey i i need money but you know i will never explicitly ask for it because i'm such a wholesome guy right but don't worry we'll get to it later he's 
starts going, oh, you you guys, you guys recommended that I should start uh, a GoFundMe. Uh, I should I should link my PayPal. You guys said it, right? I didn't I, I didn't want this, right? Hey guys, I just got back home from work. I worked close to 14 hours a day. I probably did work 14 hours today. I'm gonna take a shower, and then plot twist. I'm gonna go to sleep. Thank you guys for watching. You know, as much as I hate to admit it, this guy's an actual genius, right? He's an evil genius because this worked. He made, I don't I don't know how much money he made. This guy probably made six digits easily. So now he's set up everything perfectly, right? He's created this character that everybody loves and wants to support. So how does he extract money from this? Well, the first thing you gotta do is create a sense of urgency, right? I need you to donate money and I need you to do it right now. So what this guy does, right? He says that the, his manager, right, at Five Guys, if they find his uh, TikTok, they're going to to fire him right so i might have to stop making videos guys you know I'm, i might have to be disconnected from you guys who have formed such a beautiful relationship with me well oh my god what's gonna happen now and obviously conveniently he mentions that his mom doesn't work right now right he says that i work 55 hours a week okay what are people going to do after learning that this wholesome guy on the internet that they love is having money problems hey guys so i just wanted to make an announcement um, if corporate finds my TikTok, I could be fired, so I have to stop making videos. My mom doesn't really work a lot anymore, so I have to, you know, step up. I'm working close to 55 hours a week, so I really can't lose this job. So I appreciate everybody that is liking and commenting. I read all the comments. It makes me very happy. And I just want to thank you guys again, but I can't lose my job. So I hope you guys understand and thank you. Now this guy is completely shameless. He would even interact with the comments, right? This guy would say, have you bought a new bike yet? Uh, no, I haven't. As a birthday present, we should buy him a new bike. Whoa! Oh, that's funny how that works, isn't it? Oh, guys, he doesn't have a bike, but he's so wholesome, he deserves a bike. He doesn't have any money. He's so wholesome, he deserves money. Under the comments on my last video, uh, it was pretty divided. I saw a lot of people saying I should make a Venmo. I should make a Cash App or a PayPal. So I already had a PayPal set up, but I made a Venmo and a Cash App. And I'll put it in the thing. Oh my God, guys, please don't do this to me. Don't force me to link my PayPal, please. I'm really blushing right now. I just, uh, I'm actually allergic to free money. I don't like it, right? I don't like free money, but, but, but if you say, if you, if you really want me to link my PayPal, I'll link my PayPal. You know, I don't know anything about the internet, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna link it in the little thingy down there because this is how I talk, because this is how I think autistic people talk. Dude, I can't tell you how much this guy makes my blood boil, just taking advantage of this group of people who are unconditionally supporting you. Like, creators are some of the luckiest people on the internet. Like, like even me, I'm so lucky to have you guys to even watch me and even like support me in any sort of way. And and taking advantage of that that trust that people put in you is so downright disgusting, man. I, I can't. Okay, so moving on to part two. Hey guys, I'm not actually autistic. I was lying to you, XD. What you're about to watch is his confession slash apology, although it's not much of an apology. And keep in mind, this is after amassing 400,000 followers, probably getting several hundred thousand dollars in donations of, of people just wanting to help his situation and tricking his absolute loyal, loving fan base who all they wanted to do was help him. Hey guys, I'm back, but not not for a while. Uh, I just wanted to pop in and, you know, just give a little update and just say I'm not autistic. I'm just saying it and I'll explain more if you want to look at it, but yeah. What an absolute spit in the face to everybody who supported you, man. That's This is just beyond horrible. I always plan on making a video at some point explaining it or something like this. But I, it just was never easy. I was just waiting for it to get easier. It never happened. I waited four months and it just, I was just waiting. And it just never got easy. So here I am. This is very hard to do. So bear with me. Um, I'll try to explain. But if you have questions, I'll obviously answer it because, you know, yeah. So when I first started TikTok, I knew that I would eventually become famous. I just knew it from the very first video. I just knew it would happen because... I, it's ha it hasn't been done on TikTok, 
Hasn't been a wholesome little fast food. I don't know. I just, I just knew it would happen. So I just want to say everything you saw on my TikTok is completely true. My bike got stolen. I worked at five. Like all that is true. I just like beefed it up a little bit, just like a teeny tiny bit, but that did happen. Bro, this guy was legitimately thinking about this for four months, but the money just kept pouring in, right? The donations wouldn't stop. So how could I say no? How do you contemplate such an easy decision for four months? Continue to steal money from my loyal TikTok followers or be a decent human being and come clean? I knew that I would eventually become famous. I just knew it from the very first video. I just knew it would happen. And then this guy said that he knew he would blow up from the start. I'm not surprised considering that he planned this whole thing, right? This is, this is literally his persona. I just like beefed it up a little bit just like a teeny tiny bit and this dude had the audacity to say that he beefed it up bro You pretended to be autistic that is so far more than a, a little bit of beefing up not to mention You are now a proven liar. So why the heck would I believe that everything else is true? I don't I don't believe that your bike got stolen anymore because I, I don't believe a word that you say You're a proven liar for the first couple months. Maybe the I don't know for like the beginning of it, it was, I, I really liked it. I was connecting with people, I was DMing them, I was going back and forth. It's not surprising if you got a DM from me, like everything I was talking about was completely true. It's just, I put on a little act, a persona, and then I, I got a little greedy with it. Yeah, guys, it was completely true, but actually I was lying. But actually it was an act, okay? It was a little persona. You don't understand. Does that sound familiar? It was just a prank, bro. I mean, okay, if it was an act, then give back all the money you stole, you know, from the people who donated to you because they thought they, that you were an autistic person. Dude, this guy literally put up TikToks of people yelling slurs at him, right? I didn't put that in my video because obviously. But trust me, this guy did anything and everything to gather any sort of sympathy. It's just unforgivable. So my whole plan, I wanted to get to 1 million followers because I knew I could do it. I just, I knew I could do it. I wanted to get to 1 million and then I would make the big reveal like, hey guys, uh, yeah, it was all an act, but you might still see me on TikTok. I might be doing like some things here and there, but that never came to be. Dude, I don't think anybody cares about your journey or what your plan was in the first place. The fact remains that you scammed people. So when I asked for money at the time, it... It was okay for like a day. I was like, oh yeah, I get to buy a new bike and stuff. But then it just, like over time, it's like the guilt and like everything just started piling up. And then TikTok became something I was forced to do because I felt obligated because, you know, you guys have showed me so much support and stuff like that. So uh, I just, it just got like to a point where like I just hated it. I, I would say like the past like four videos or so, it was just like, I gotta pick up my phone and make a video. I mean, I'm a little glad to hear that, that you had some sort of guilt regarding this whole situation, but the fact that you kept on doing it for months and months is already pretty bad, but at least you're a little human, I, I guess. The whole point of my TikTok was I just wanted to be like a little wholesome guy, just, you know, spreading love and positivity. That was my, my, my thing in the beginning. And it just got like weird towards the end, just like a little, like in a gray area. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just like recording little, like, me playing my piano like can you guys just imagine how his audience feels like they legitimately thought this was just a wholesome guy and then he comes out with this tiktok on his page just saying like oh yeah i, I was putting on this act of being a wholesome dude wow the worst kind of wholesome people are the people who pretend to be wholesome i can't i can't stand those dude so yeah so just recently i've just been i've just been alone i've just been doing my own thing i've just been um you know working way less hours I've just been chilling in my room. I've been just, you know, working, working myself up. Because before, if like, before when I stopped making videos, I could never make this video. There's no way. Back then, but I, I grew a little bit, teeny bit, to build up some courage to make this video. And if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to ask me. I'm, I'm here, I'm chilling. TikTok was always downloaded. I just... I was still scrolling through the for you. I still like TikTok. I think some people are hilarious on here. I just didn't want to make videos on it. I don't know why this guy's acting like his audience would receive this well at all. Like as if they're going to be like, oh, 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 there was a whole character. Oh, you lied about being autistic. Okay. Uh, that's, that's cool, man. Let, let's, let's be friends. That's not how the internet works, bro. You can't just lie about something so incredibly intimate and, and then, and then turn around and act like nothing happened. Okay. So do I regret doing what I did? I just want to say, I, I don't regret anything I do in life. I just, I don't, but I see it as like a huge, like learning experience. Like, okay, I, 
I'm like, but I'm very glad that I went through that. If that never happened, then I never would have taken the four month break to focus on myself. Then I would have never built up the courage to make a video like this. So am I, do I regret it? In a, in a way, I regret how I, how I went about, you know, my TikTok thing, but do I regret that it happened? No. Dude, why is this guy acting like this is an Oscar speech? Like he's going up on stage like, oh my God, guys, I, I learned so much from this experience. I'm so glad you guys are rewarding me for this. And this guy has the gall to say, I don't regret what I did, bro. I mean, okay, you don't regret what you did because you've got like 200 grand in your pocket, bro. I just want to say, I, I don't regret anything I do in life. I just- My man just said, I don't regret anything I do in life. Really, bro? You don't think this should be a regrettable experience? You don't think you should have changed one little thing of how you... Just... Okay. I just wanted to say a, a very sincere and honest apology from me, Miles Joseph. I apologize to anybody who donated me money, who supported me any any way, shape, or form. I apologize for what I did. Uh, it's definitely screwed up. I learned a lot from it. But I just want to be able to move on with my life and not have it on my on my back. Hey guys, I'm I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna keep the 200 grand though. I I can't refund it. It's just uh I don't know the button broke. Eh eh.